Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Sunil Pody, Vice President and GM for Security in Google Cloud. First of all, thanks for taking the time today. Really appreciate you taking some time away from uh, potentially what you're doing at work, especially in these interesting times. I hope you're all feeling safe and staying engaged both at work and at home. As we've entered this first few months of dealing with COVID, many organizations expected a slowdown in their digital strategy. In many cases, if not the majority, we actually saw the opposite. That is, most customers accelerated their use of cloud-based services. It turns out that the more things change, and in some cases, in the case of post-COVID, you've got to manage a new normal with distributed workforce, new digital strategies, many companies now transitioning to online, essentially new market models emerging, they are actually real opportunities to actually bring forward what would have been transformation that would have taken many years to now becoming many weeks. And so that's really what we at Google Cloud have generally embraced. And in the case of security, we have really accelerated because we believe that in the new normal, we can actually create a better normal from these times. We're sort of like doing that across a few dimensions in a couple of ways, right? So if you think about it, the most important thing, at least in security, is to kind of do two things. One is to increase your safety posture, especially in this new distributed environment, but at the same time, reduce the complexity if we can. And if you can do both of them at the same time, then we have a game-changing capability for us to embrace the new normal, but in a safer way. So let me talk about these things in more detail. Protecting your users, your data, your applications, while staying compliant, we all know it's challenging at the best of times. During these times of crisis and change, it obviously becomes way more difficult. Fortunately, we've got some really unique, powerful capabilities to simplify your security operations to start with. The variety of tooling that we currently have powering much of Google is now being manifested as enterprise consumable products, both on GCP as well as modernizing security in your data centers or in other clouds. One of the most popular tools that we currently have on our platform is Cloud Security Command Center, SCC, which is our native security posture management system, which prevents and detects abuse of your cloud resources. It centralizes security findings from GCP services and partner services and detects common misconfigs that can lead to breaches. What we have now done is added a whole slew of new capabilities in SCC Premium which can spot threats using Google intelligence for events in GCP logs and containers, which is just another example of bringing core Google IP to our enterprise customers, wherever they are. And it'll also help surface a much larger set of misconfigs and perform automated compliance, scanning, and reporting. So in short, SEC is the single pane of glass to understand risks on GCP. Verify that you've configured your resources properly, and safely and documented for anyone who asks. We also have two new products that give you powerful new capabilities while keeping deployment and management simple. And the first one is Assured Workloads, which is essentially a set of controls for customers in regulated industries where you can now configure and deploy sensitive workloads according to your security and compliance, but just in a few clicks. Assured Workloads isn't a separate cloud instance with limited functionality that runs months behind on getting new features. It actually is a software-driven approach that leverages the power of one Google, but removes the trade-off between regulatory compliance in the cloud and having the latest capabilities in your cloud. So it's essentially compliance made consistent and simple. And so the flip side of that is how do you actually bring a lot more confidence, trust into the platform? And this second dimension is what we're calling as confidential computing. And to tell you more about our efforts here, there's no better person than our chief internet evangelist, Vint Cerf. Over to you, Vint. Hey, everyone. 1971, email showed up as an ARPANET project. It opened up new possibilities. Mailing lists like sci-fi lovers and yum yum for restaurant reviews were created. Spam followed not very long after when someone from Digital Equipment Corporation sent out a job posting. Although at that time, email was only used by government and academics, 
We knew it was only a matter of time before organizations saw the infinite possibilities that email would open up. There are a few moments in life when new technologies emerge that can fundamentally change how the future is going to unfold. At Google, we believe the future of cloud computing will increasingly shift to private encrypted services, where users can be confident that their data is not being exposed to cloud providers or their own insiders. This is the future we want to help bring about, and confidential computing makes it possible. When organizations are ready to move their workloads to the cloud, one of the biggest challenges is how to process sensitive data while still keeping it private. Google Cloud encrypts all data in transit between our users and our data centers, as well as at rest by default. However, when data is being processed, there is no easy solution to keep it encrypted. We believe that customers shouldn't have to choose between usability, performance, and confidentiality. To complement our encryption in transit and at rest, we will now offer the ability to encrypt data in use while it's being processed, and you can enable this in just a few clicks. This is called confidential computing, and the first product in our confidential computing portfolio, Confidential VMs, is now in beta for you to try. Confidential computing environments keep data encrypted in memory and elsewhere outside the CPU. Data is decrypted within the CPU boundary by memory controllers using embedded hardware keys that Google doesn't have access to. And with confidential VMs, this level of confidentiality can be achieved without the need to make any changes to your applications. With Google Cloud, we already have a variety of isolation and sandboxing techniques that make our multi-tenant architecture secure. Confidential VMs take this to the next level by using memory encryption to further isolate workloads and tenants from each other and from the cloud infrastructure. Our goal is to ensure that capabilities are agnostic to the hardware we use. In addition to supporting AMD CPUs, we're planning to work on other CPU vendors and extend support to GPUs, TPUs, and FPGAs. In parallel, we've helped create the Confidential Computing Consortium to engage with stakeholders and work towards more transparent and interoperable services. With Confidential Computing, we can unlock computing scenarios which previously have not been possible. Imagine being able to share confidential data sets and collaborate on research in the cloud, all while preserving privacy. Imagine being able to develop vaccines more quickly and cure diseases as a result of this secure collaboration. Transformational technologies solve problems that make our lives better. Confidential computing can be a catalyst to transform the way organizations process data in the cloud. We can't wait to see the possibilities this technology will enable for your organization. This is a game changer, just like the advent of email was 50 years back. And yes, you heard it here first. And with that, I'll hand it back to Sunil. Thanks, Wayne, for joining us. It's always fun to have you in any discussion. It's a real pleasure to hear from you. So as you can see from all these announcements, our goal is to give you world-class security and more importantly, operational simplicity as you embrace Google Cloud to accelerate your digital transformation strategies. When we speak to customers, they also tell about priorities in the new normal. What we've also done at Google Cloud is to bring the power of cloud to where you are so that you can modernize security in place to protect your customers and your employees, independent of which cloud you're on. So let me start with protecting your employees because that's obviously top of mind given everybody's working remotely and will continue to do so in the near term. Um, as you can imagine now, most of your employees, if not all, aren't in your headquarters. They're not badged in and they're not working from secure networks. So they're at home, on home networks and sharing the same account and machine for personal business use. And they're still connecting to your internal apps and networks in that fragile environment. So protecting your business in this environment requires a rethink because a simple VPN will not cut it. It might help in the near term, but it's not the way that you can build a long-term durable safety posture. 
especially if you're going to be in this environment for a long time. At Google, we've been operating securely in this way for over a decade. And essentially what we've now done is bring that same IP and technology so that you can consume it in this new normal. Now the other dimension is protecting your users, especially as most customers are going online and this is actually resulting in increased malicious activity. And that's why at Google Cloud, we have created solutions to stop bots, fraud in general, especially online fraud, and malware links cold that can help keep your online channels safe. In the first dimension of protecting employees is Beyond Corp Remote Access. And Beyond Corp Remote Access provides user-friendly, zero-trust access to internal apps without a VPN. This is how 100,000 plus Google employees access our systems every day. Organizations such as New York City Cyber Command use Beyond Corp so their team has access to essential resources wherever they are. Beyond Corp is now complemented with Chronicle, our security analytics platform, which analyzes security telemetry from your data centers and other clouds to detect malware and investigate incidents at the speed of search. Now, when you flip it to protecting your users, the first solution there is WebRisk solution, which uses signals from over 4 billion devices to keep your users safe from malicious links and phishing attempts. And to complement it, we have ReCAPTCHA Enterprise, which prevents bots from taking over customer accounts. It's able to provide you the second level of authentication and safety to ensure that the customers who are logging in can feel comfort with your brand. ReCAPTCHA already protects over 4 million websites against account fraud. So if you're seeing spikes in traffic to your online systems, check out ReCAPTCHA and WebRisk to protect your customers and make sure that fraud and abuse don't spike as well. Finally, as we work to enable a better, safer environment, we know we can't do it alone. In general, Google has been pretty good at adopting an open posture, both in the technologies that we build with a ton of contributions to open source, but also in the way that we actually embrace partnerships to create a one plus one equals three kind of effect for our customers. So this week, we have announced various new integrations and go-to-market activity with various partners, including Palo Alto Networks, on their XOR marketplace. And then with Tanium, who's integrating and offering Chronicle with their endpoint security and management solution. The Tanium Chronicle integrated offering, sold by Tanium, links endpoint data from Tanium with other telemetry, such as DNS and proxy data in Chronicle, to provide a broader, clearer picture of threats in the enterprise, but in the same single solution set. So Chronicle retains Tanium's telemetry for over a year by default, and it improves customers' ability to investigate incidents over long periods of time, which ultimately is where all threats lie. So in conclusion, we all know that defending the enterprise requires continuous evolution. And events so far in 2020 have made this even more clear. With compliance automation, simpler security operations, and better protection for employees and customers, at Google Cloud, we're helping you adjust, evolve, and make today's normal a safer normal. So in blogs and sessions throughout this week, we'll be digging into new capabilities that we're introducing or that we've already brought to market in 2020. So stay tuned, keep coming back, and find more at cloud.google.com slash security. So thank you again for taking the time. Appreciate all the support and looking forward to engaging with you all.